my name is Cody Kelsha and I am going to be um, doing my crisis briefing as as if I was a PR person for Apple um, after they in 2000 in September of 2014 released U2's uh, album Songs of Innocence to their nearly 500 million iTunes subscribers for free however they did it without ever asking permission to any of their customers before they downloaded it and many people were upset that while Apple gave them something for free they didn't ever um, ask permission or ask any or give them any kind of heads up and just automatically downloaded it and then it made it difficult to remove so I'm going to be acting as Apple's PR spokesperson spokesperson person through this and there everybody so it has now been six days since we released U2's new album Songs of Innocence to our 500 million uh, iTunes customers. Uh, we understand that there are people who have concerns about what we've done, as well as the manner in which we have done it in. And so I am here today to hopefully give a little bit of insight into our intent and our goals when we did it, as well as address um, the concerns that are out there in the public. So let me uh, begin by expanding upon, or expl excuse me, let me begin by explaining what um, Apple's, uh, what our goals have always been uh, from the beginning. So from the day that we released the iPod, Apple's goal has been to provide people with access to music in a convenient and forward thinking way. Uh, that continued from the iPod to iTunes and now to where we are now where you can have music even on your, ph on your phone. Uh, Steve Jobs, in an interview with Rolling Stone in 2003, said of the way that we're bringing music to people, um, that's how we're working to make the world a better place. So it's something that's been very important to us from our beginning. Uh, when we, we were incredibly excited to partner with you 2 to bring their album, Songs of Innocence, to our iTunes base. Uh, it was a chance to partner with a band that we love as well as a band that is beloved by millions of people. Um, and we believed that we were providing this great product in a free and exciting and ambitious way. And we believe that we have done that, although we do acknowledge that there are concerns out there. So um, we have heard those concerns, and now I'm gonna do my best to try and address them. So we understand that there are people who do not understand, or do not share our enthusiasm for our partnership with U2 and our subsequent release of their album to, uh, to them. So we truly believe that what we were doing was an exciting and ambitious endeavor uh, with our only intent to provide our customers with a free album uh, from U2. Now U2 is a world-renowned band who, according to official officialcharts.com, has had 10 number one albums in their career. We wanted to give a gift to our millions of users, and we believe that U2 was the per perfect band to partner with. We viewed, this cool, we viewed this as a cool surprise that our customers would wake up to see and would wake up and see a new, exciting, and free album that they could enjoy. Um, so while some have taken issue with this, we have seen that many of our users have also had a very positive uh, experience with uh, this album's release and how we've done it. So after the release of the album, a record 33 million iTunes users accessed the album. And according to uh, an article on Boston.com, 26 other YouTube titles are all charted at the same time on iTunes' top 200 albums rankings, just two days after the record dropped. Um, so many, so what we've seen is that many users, upon seeing the new album, U2 album in their library, um, responded by listening to the album and by going out and buying more um, of U2's music, which is exactly the kind of thing that we were going for. Uh, so while we see many positives in this, we also understand that there are people who are upset, and I will now go over uh, the concerns. So we have received feedback from users who do not want the U2 album in their library. We either, they are either not a fan of the album or don't agree with the way that we've done things. So we certainly understand that and we, uh, we understand the issue and we don't 
ever want to force anyone to have any type of media that they don't want on their device. That was not the intent. We're not trying to force anyone to listen to anything. So we understand that that may be a, an issue. So in order to correct this, we've provided a way to delete the album. And you can find the tool at itunes.com slash SOI hyphen remove. So you go there and you can take the music right off your device, no problem. So uh, this allows those individuals who maybe don't want the new uh, U2 album on their phone or on their iPod or on, in their iTunes library to remove it, while it still allows the people who have enjoyed the album and who are continuing to listen to it and want to keep it, uh, gives them the ability to keep it on their phone. So uh, now that I've addressed some of the concerns uh, and tried to explain some of our motivations, uh, I'm going to wrap this up. So I hope today that I've shown that our intentions have always been about providing our users with great content in a forward-thinking way. Uh, we understand that we did not do everything perfectly, and we are taking this as an opportunity to learn and to improve on how we will provide our customers with music in the future. Thank you.